This is Sparta! Hello guys, and you probably guessed it, it is me, Sub-Zero X to Bite, with a brand new video for you guys. And as you can see from the title, this video is going to be pretty fun. We are going to push some noobs into a blender, and you probably know what blenders do. Blenders are not really that nice to things that enter their perimeter. They naturally tend to cut things up that enter their blade area, so try to avoid that if you get ever pushed into a huge blender. And here next to the square thing there are a couple of noobs that are not players but they are not non-playable characters, also known as NPC and we are going to push some of them into this human blender. And I think they are made to do this so don't feel too bad for them. But look at how big they actually are. They are almost twice my size and then I would not include their heads. One of their heads is like my entire body. They are pretty large heads, but they seem to enjoy life. Even though their life is not that much fun, I would imagine. But they seem to be happy, even though they don't have a facial expression on their faces. But that is okay, because they are NPC and I don't think that in any game NPC have feelings, so why show feelings when you don't have feelings? Well don't be fake and just show your true self. And that is what these huge blender men are doing. They are not fake humans, they just enjoy life being pushed into a blender, as you normally do on a Friday night. But we are a bit of WWE fighters, we are just Sparta kids kicking them into this blender. Like if we were that one guy from that movie, we would shout, this is Sparta, and then we would kick one of these guys into the blender. And I think if we did that then even these non-human things will crack a smile. The this is Sparta thing is just too funny to not laugh at. But we pushed half of them not even in the blender, but we just pushed them on the grass. I don't think they are made to do that. And I think that I am an Olympian Sparta kicker. Look at my form. I am just amazing when I push these guys into the blender, and I don't think that my body really appreciated that I fell down into then blender. I am now just ahead, and I am falling off the map. But now it is time to enter this black box where you can see anything and you have to jump and stuff and you don't know what to do. Hey who is this guy? He is not stopping me from entering the black box. But maybe those guys that I see falling down will change my mind? Well they look as if they enjoy falling down just like the blender people but we are just watching things fall down the map and die i guess so let do something else and we are entering the feared black box and if we fall down we just have to accept that our life is over and we will enjoy our way down just like those people we saw and the blender people the blender people probably feel worse they are not just falling down into nothing but they are falling into a blender that is going to cut them up into little pieces. But now we need to jump on these big Lego pieces that are kind of flat, and we have to make some seriously dangerous jumps. And I am not sure how I am feeling about these jumps. And it seems like we are entering the Haribo Red String Forest. If you don't know what I am talking about those are those long red things that are pretty delicious. Wow hey, we just teleported and now we are talking to SpongeBob. Wait not this is not SpongeBob and neither can I move. I don't know what this is but I can move. What is this? Wow what is on my face? Why am I so happy? I don't know anymore. What is life? Why am I jumping? I am just so happy to be on this platform. My smile on my face is an expression of my emotions, and I think that we need to lead the blender people to this platform and give them some smiles as well. They really deserve it their lives. I just feel sorry for them, like me and you have a purpose in life. We probably both don't know what that is yet, but these poor blender people just get pushed into a blender. And that is it. That was their lives. And all that just to entertain some noob kids, just like me and to push them in a blender to entertain us. Why? Why is it that life is that unfair? Well I don't know but we need to jump onto some more green things again and I don't like the looks of what is underneath all of that grass. There is just nothing underneath. It is floating grass. And I we fell down then we would be one of those guys over there at that red castle. Where you constantly see people falling down and that is their purpose in life. I feel sorry for them too. But now we are entering the other side of the island in the black box. And I am sure if we can make this jump. And now I am sure that we can make that jump. But look at my smile. Well my smile is gone now. But just as I said a bit earlier. I said that if we fell down we just have to accept our faith. And now my smile is gone. Well that is not really fair. But anyways. We said that we were going to enjoy that last bit of life. When we fall down into thin air. And what is this then? These are all moles. But what are all of these moles doing in front of a camera or what it is? Oh. It is a hammer. 
and now we can whack a mole that is kind of fun but i think this is going to be harder than it looks like we are now in first person and this is the pov that you are going to see if you don't know what pov stands for it is point of view and my point of view is in first person and you can see it as it is in first person as well but i can change that really quickly just like i did there and now i can see myself in third person and I can see the hammer spinning around as well. And I am now a windmill. That is my purpose in life from now on. So, I think that this is it for me guys. I have found my purpose. But no on a serious not have you seen how fresh my hair is looking today? Well if you haven't then Chip has. And he told me about it. But we died again. That is just our luck. I ass and it dying over and over again. But no this is like the third time we died. So it is not all that bad. But now we can see what we want to do next and I don't think we want to whack more moles. That was kind of boring. But my eye is falling onto that red castle. It seems really interesting but I don't know how I am getting there. So, we are skipping that for now. And we are heading to these pock on looking things. And if we get close we will see what these things are. And by the looks of it these are just game characters. This is Master Chief. And now I am looking like a derp version of Master Chief. But I still have my fresh hair, so I am good to go. But I am an actual cut out cardboard thing of Master Chief from the Halo series. And he is pretty cool I think. I like Master Chief, but it is time to be someone else. And who did I choose? Well I chose that angry Boomba, but I can be him. Wait is it Boomba? No wait what is it? Those angry things that you need to jump on in Mario games? I am not sure anymore. Wait no those are Gumba now I remember. What was I saying earlier? Boomba or something? No that is not correct sub. These are called Gumba and I like Gumba actually. But we are now heading to this yellow thing. But how do we get there? Because if we jump we are just going to fall down like we just did. But we respond and we are regenerating dot 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 so that is nice i am not entirely sure why if you are regenerating that your screen needs to be this gray but i guess that is just how we roll and we are rolling with chip on our side and chip is also really interested in this red castle looking thing where things well things they look like people are constantly falling down from so let investigate what is going on here and as you can see the trampoline did not serve its purpose and now we are having to respawn once again and i think this was the fifth or fourth time that we died no it is the fifth time i think anyways we don't need to regenerate like last time so now we can go to where we want to go instantly without having to see only gray and by the looks of it chip is still really interested by this red fort slash castle looking thing and let just hope that the trampoline works this time and that we don't fall of just like last time the last thing i want to do is respawn once again the title is saying pushing noobs into blender and now we look like the noob because we get pushed off by things and once again we fell off and i'm really sad because this is the sixth time that we are now respawning so we also died six times and we are looking like the real noob here and not these things that we are pushing of the edge the blender people are actually more intelligent than me it looks like but now we need to head back to the trampoline and we need to try and jump once again and if i fail i am going to be pretty sad look at all of these john doe that are falling of the edge wait those are john doe right yeah if my eagle-eyed vision is right then i am right and by the looks of it i am right these guys are wearing green pants blue shirts and the rest of their body is just their skin color but yay this is the seventh time that i am going to respawn so go ahead call me a noob but no i am not a noob that trampoline just does not like me at all it wants to take its revenge of that the people that entered the island started to push down some john does but now i am mad and when you are mad a fun thing to do is push the blender people off into the blender. So now we are being the Sparta guy again, so let's scream it together when we push someone off. This is Sparta and he fell down so we did not fail entirely in life. But we can just push down some blender people and it is actually fun. The thing that is not fun in this server is the regenerating and of course the trampoline. That trampoline is just something straight out of hell. It does not like me at all. And I don't like the trampoline at all. We are now arch enemies. And here we go again. Regenerating. Could you freaking not mate? I don't like to regenerate please. So please just stop regenerating. I don't know what it actually is for. But when we are around these blender people then we always have the regenerating thing. And it really sucks. I don't know what to do about it but we can just push more blender people off the edge. But these things just don't have emotions. And here I go again. I am starting to feel bad for them. I pushed their entire family not even into the blender. I just pushed them onto the grass. I really can do anything. 
and I don't like to be this useless. It really sucks and I want to not regenerate, but the game wants to regenerate so I just have to accept that it wants to regenerate. But at least all of the blender people, well not all of them, but some of them are now respond and I can start knocking them onto the grass once again. But this entire video, seems to be only pushing down blender people into the blender, and as I just said we can even push them into the blender. But instead we are just pushing almost all of them just onto the grass. And I can go to the red fort because there is the trampoline that comes straight out of hell. And that trampoline definitely hates me and I hate the trampoline. And the yellow fort or castle whatever it is. We can even come close to there. But we also went to the cardboard thingies. We went to the long red forest of Haribo. And we also whacked some moles. So, all by all. This video actually was pretty productive to society. But once again all of the blender people are knocked out. And that reminds me of a story. And I know that I did not tell you this story before. But it is about an ancient tribe that was also made to be pushed into an ancient blender. And that tribe was called the Ender Blenders. And they used to have a face. But then something really bad happened to their entire tribe. They were at war with the cowboys. And they were actually a really peace giving tribe. But the cowboys took something from them. No one knows what they actually took except for the cowboy thieves, and the tribe master. But they did not leak what had been stolen for reasons that we probably would not even understand. But they were back in the days not actually just only made to be pushed into a blender like we are doing right now. But they were actually just a loving tribe, and they knew all of the people that lived with them and they were friends with all of them. And they had a great time. But then that little incident with the cowboys happened. And the entire tribe was really sad and now they did not longer have what they had before. And because they were sad some other tribes were looking over their shoulders constantly because they did not want anything to be stolen from them as well. It was bad for the Ender Blenders that something was stolen but they could not do anything about that so it sucks for them. But what is someone else going to do about that? Well they did nothing. But the Ender Blenders had a great relationship with another tribe. And they asked for some weapons to at least defend themselves. Only the great men that were really important from the Ender Blenders had weapons before. But now everyone in the entire tribe had weapons. Not like guns or anything. Just little bow and arrow things and spears and other stuff. But they were happy with it and that is all that mattered. But yeah it is pretty cool that such a tribe would dare to take on such cowboys with their pew. Pews and all their boom. Booms. And then the Blender people just roll in with a bow and arrow. And sometimes you have a guy that created a spear and is really proud of it and then he throws it at the enemy and then by some luck the enemy gets hit. But those cowboys had pew, pews as I said. And if you fight enemies with advance or stuff then you have, there is a chance you will lose. And the cowboys were really happy when they entered the camp and successfully got the place. And then they could throw all the blender people that were basically the noobs in a blender that they for some reason had in their village. And they would get thrown in it like in that movie Sparta. That is how that movie got the idea I am pretty sure. And I think even the blender got invented by the blender people and those were then the first people to create a blender where you could throw stuff in and then all of a sudden you have a drinkable meal. And they were really happy with it because they lived in the deserts and you normally don't have a lot of stuff to drink in there. And that my friends is how the blender people got famous. And of course now that they were trapped and turned into non-playable characters in this game. Because well a lot of people seem to enjoy throwing people in a blender for some reason but I can understand why it is so much fun you just pick one out and you jump in its back like you are Randy Orton and they you just basically push them into a pit where there is a blade and the blade goes chop chop people and then you have a water substance made out of things that you can then drink and that was a really vague description of how a blender works and why it is so much fun to blend things is that the actual word for blending things blending I am not entirely sure but maybe after we are done playing a game with a ball that smokes we can ask the blender people and maybe I could have a story with them where they would explain to me what it was like to fight in the great blender war and then they would answer like yeah I have met a lot of brave soldiers and then they tell stories about their best friends and it is all cool and then how they lost contact or even lost that best friend that they had and then it would be really sad and we would have an emotional moment and then I can maybe help them with post-traumatic stress disorder stuff I don't know but that is kind of sad for them as it is sad for the people that choose to Randy Orton them and that my friends were this video about the blender people and now you will have the ending of the video and I hope that you very much enjoyed it bye bye